Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to finish out cleaning up this header. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but at the end we're going to have a nice looking header, and it should be everything that we need it to be. So, first thing we want to do is I want to get into editing the search. Uh, I don't really like this that it has this uh, visible label here. Um, I'd rather just not have that, the search button, I would like it to be on the side here. So let's get started with that. Um, and in fact, I'm actually going to leave the label on the uh, search bar. I'm just going to display none for now. We could get into the template itself and change that, but I think that label would might be useful in the structure of our document um, it, because this is an input. So we'll leave that there, but we'll give it a display none. So I'm going to go to our styles and uh, what we want to do is we want to go inside of this search form mini, inside of search, uh, form search, and we're going to give the label a display of none. We're going to give this input. Uh, we're going to give this a uh, a display inline so that the search button comes up to the right side of it here. So um, let's copy some things out of here. So I'm going to say that the search bar that's inside of our quick access. So here's our CSS right here. Um, let's go down here and I'm going to say quick access to say search search bar. It's good to come in your CSS so you know uh, if other people are looking at your code it's nice and easy to figure out what it is so they don't have to do all this or investigative work to sort of figure out what your what your form is. Um, and then I'm going to grab this form search so form search, and the first thing we want to do is hide that label. So um, let's just say the label, not label, label, okay, uh, display none. Okay, and then we also wanted to say uh, quick access form search, and we're going to give the uh, input with a class of text input text. Uh, I'm going to just grab this input and we're going to give this a display inline. In our semicolon. Hey, now let's come back here, refresh the page. Cool. We have our search bar, that label's gone. Okay, what about these quick access links? Let's inspect these two. Uh, this is a list item. We want this list to be display inline. Uh, one thing you can do when you're uh, testing out your CSS, if you're in this inspect element mode here, you can make changes to your CSS and you can see it happen on your page. It's not going to get saved to your file, but you can see, you can test some things out. So if we go to this div and we say display inline and it doesn't, it's not going to do anything, right? Because this is, we're calling display inline on, on the UL, it's making the UL itself inline. Uh, you can see it's not doing the desired effect you want. So you're like, oh, well, okay, that must not be what I need. So let's click down here and let's click on a list item. So uh, in this particular list item, we can click on it and we can try display inline. Or not initial, inline. Okay, there we go. And let's put this one display inline as well. It's basically only adding the style to one. It's basically adding an inline style. Okay, so now we've added display in line to these two list items. You can see they're right up next to each other. That's what we want. Uh, so you know that you'd have to give a list item inside of this class links, inside of quick access, uh, a display in line for it to show up how you want. Okay, so you can test everything out and then when you refresh the page, it's gonna go right back to normal. So let's come here and then inside of here, we're going to say, um, I'm going to do another comment, and this is going to be um, quick access links, and quick access again dot links is the UL, and then we're going to say list items. So any list item in quick access is going to also be display inline. What display inline does, if you're not familiar with display, I, I would suggest watching uh, some of the CSS tutorials, but it's going to take these list items that are vertically and it's going to let them be next to each other, just like this. Perfect. Great. So what what other things do we would you want here? You notice that this is sort of crowded. This is all close to the top of the, the browser window here. 
So let's go to our, our header container and on this element style, I'm gonna type padding and then I'm gonna put 20 pixels and then zero. So this would add 20 pixel padding to the top and bottom. Um, that's pretty good. Let's see if it's a little bit more. So I'm gonna click over here to this 20, uh, 20 pixels that I have over here. I'm just gonna hit up on my keyboard and you'll see that this increments by one. Um, so if I go all the way up to 40, uh, that's a bit, a bit large. Uh, I do like the space at the top though. So I'm gonna add 40 padding uh, to the top, then zero for left and right, then 20 pixels to the bottom, just like this. And watch this, I can actually select this from element style here, copy it, and throw it in my CSS. So this is the header, uh, header container, but it's not the class of header container, it's header with a class of container. Um, so we'll just say header, Actually, we should probably give this a better class. In case we have more than one header in this site, let's come back here. I'm gonna actually write a class here named main header, okay? So I know that this is the main header. Some people call this a mast header or something. Um, main header, okay? And now I'm going to paste in that padding code that I had here. As you can see, I have padding, 40 pixels for the top, zero left and right, 20 at the bottom. Save this, come back to our page and it's gonna look the same. Cool, one more thing, let's check out these links. I want them to be white, and I just want the uh, I want the underline to only come when you hover. So I know this is just CSS stuff, but I want this site to start looking a little bit more respectable here. So quick access dot links, li, and then the anchor tag. This needs to have a color of white and a text decoration of none. And I'm going to add one more class, and it's going to be quick access dot links. Um, it's so funny. I'm not used to writing CSS because I've been writing SAS for so long. Uh, and I would highly suggest checking out one of our SAS courses if you've done CSS or you know CSS, uh, because it's so much more efficient to write. In fact, I'm writing all this. Uh, you wouldn't have to write half this stuff if I was doing SAS. But for the sake of these tutorials, I'm writing a normal CSS today. And here I'm just going to add a text decoration underline and so on hover you're going to get this tech decoration underline and also I want a little bit of space between these links so on these list items I just want a margin um, in between them so I want a zero and then we'll just say five pixels on the left and right I'll refresh this okay it's a little bit better they're now too far apart um, Let's check this out, see how wide they need to be. So now if I click over here, here's my margin 5%. I can click this and page down until they fit in. Okay, two pixels, that's all I need. So gives it a little bit of padding there. Refresh, great. And you'll notice when I shrink down the site, it's going to one column. So this is what you're going to get on your mobile browser. We'll go over exactly how to uh, target just the mobile browser. But this isn't awful for not doing anything extra. We have this header that resizes itself. Our search bar is still in the center. Everything looks pretty darn good for, uh, for not even focusing on making a, a mobile site here. Okay, so we now have quite a bit of a header. Uh, also, one more thing, let's turn this H3 and let's make this H3 white. So this H3 is the, uh, I think it's a class of a welcome message. Okay, so let's go to our CSS. And now, uh, this is actually below, it's below the search bar. Welcome, oh boy, okay, and Okay, perfect. We now have uh, this a little bit better. It's got our tagline here. It's it's got this headband, this banner here on the header. This is looking pretty good. And not to mention, we have this this whole site's really starting to come together. Um, next time, we're going to be going over the navigation, and we're going to make a drop down navigation to use so that uh, we can have our categories 
fly out an, like a normal drop down navigation that you'd be used to seeing on a normal site. That will pull all this content up and it's going to really start looking good. Okay, as always, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, this is Scott at Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.